Well, I got my partner back up online, and uh, we got a guest online. Partner, good after, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Yes, sir. You know when you call a place like D.C. home, somebody says, man, Marvin Gaye, Billy Stewart. They start naming a lot of things, but when they name a hometown unsung hero, it's Black History Month, my friend. Yes, sir. And uh, so many people are unsung. You know, they always say, oh, man, you're trying, or you're doing this. The word is, it's a gift. The translation is, no formal training. Funk didn't have no formal training at the radio, but what he does as a black man is a gift. Yes, thank you. So, my buddies in Japan and all over Fukuoka, especially my buddy, my buddy AP, he says, man, you got a guy in D.C., you, you know, you don't know the name of Belmont Street? Yes, yes, the Pitts Motor Hotel, I'm talking. And, you know, turning that corner, diamond gems, everything down the bottom of the hill. Yeah. He said, there's a black sculptor that never had formal training. That other magnet told me he was had a gift. And he said, you think? I said, what? And the other compared code, code word was, there's a guy named Askir Muhammad. Yes, sir. Tall. Yes, sir. Representing. Man, that guy is Doug Harris. Big Doug Harris. Hey, Big Doug. Is he on there? Yeah. Doug, hey, I'm, right Doug. Here. I'm right here. Big Doug, I brought you in right, man. Uh, Jamal's got to be 6'4". You, <laughs> they tell me you're 6'8". And Luigi is... Six eight. Tell me about the tall story and who is Yuziki? Man, Yuziki is my uncle. And uh, he was an engineering professor, a founding in engineering professor at UDC. Uh, he's a longtime DC artist. And he's uh, more importantly an uh, arts activist with his lovely wife, Janua in the Washington, D.C. area. They're basically the pillars of the black art community in Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a documentary coming, man. I mean, the story, and you got uh, our man, our skier in there. I saw the footage. Why did you make this film? I mean, it's hard in this business, man. Cable, this, that. Why? What inspired you to make this film about your uncle? Well, you know, this, this film this film was executive produced by uh, my mother, Gloria Nelson, and it was a celebration of black history. For people who watch this film, they can celebrate black history on any day, any time they watch this film. You know, instead of just having Black History Month every February, you know, with the same old, same old, you know, this is something that, that, that would throw down some serious black history all year round, any time you watch it. What was, yeah, what was special about his story, with all of the stories that are, are, are compounded? Well, you know, Yuziki's documentary is a family story. And it has so many different layers to the to the film. I mean, it's incredible. You know, you learn a little bit about education. You learn a little bit about history. You learn a little bit about art. You know, uh, more importantly, you learn about slavery and the Underground Railroad. <clears throat> and this is all through this man's story. And what was really special about it was me and my son. My son is my cinematographer, Douglas Jr., and we had to travel across country to uh, produce this film. You know, we stopped off in Peoria, Illinois. We stopped off in St. Louis, D.C., New York, New Jersey, you know, to capture this man's story. And it, and it was real special for me and my son to learn about our family roots, you know, through slavery and the Underground Railroad, which is a big, important part of this film. Yeah, so it was special, you know, it was special not only for me, but my whole entire family, and I and I hope it's going to be special for all the viewers that watch it. When can we see it? The documentary, we're going to have our virtual premiere, which is being laid out by the Lilo Network, 
next Saturday on February 20th at 6 o'clock, you know, our time out here on the West, 6 o'clock in the West, uh, 8 o'clock Central Time and, and 9 p.m. out on the East Coast. And yes, we sir. want everybody to watch this film for Black History Month because it's, it's, it's a wonderful presentation and it's something that everybody can learn from. Man, and, and, and all of the accolades, the radio station and Katia and everybody have been on it. I, feel, I said, man, Washington, D.C., we don't know them. Well, we don't know everybody, but man, the spirit and just keeping people's hope alive. The thought of getting a shot in rough times makes you say, man, I ain't getting no shot, but yes, I am, you, you know, this hope. And when guys come along like this, their legacy will live with forever because of Big Doug Harris and his family. Tell them one more time, man, when it's on, and we treasure our ski of you and all of the black history information we can get. Okay, so so what, what, what's going on right now is... Uh, Yuziki has a sculpture called Thur dedicated to Thurgood Marshall. And this sculpture was at the Anacosta Smithsonian Museum, but it needs a new home. And so we're wow. asking for all the brothers and sisters in the district, you know, to help us find a home for this Thurgood Marshall sculpture that Brother Yuziki uh, put together. And you know, we'd like to, to get input and help from all brothers and sisters in BC. And then, oh, man. you know, when, when, when folks watch our documentary next Saturday on February 20th at 6 p.m., 9 p.m. East, East Coast time, uh, they'll see what I'm talking about and why uh, this work, this, this, oh, this beautiful sculpture Yuziki put together needs to find a, a nice decent home where everybody can a see a decent it. home for Thurgood Marshall and a black sculptor that's gifted and the back word is no formal training as we know it but that gift and there's a and you need a place where Thurgood Marshall will be right here forever man the words out Tyrone and all the service organizations Tina Rama everybody they need to watch that man and make this happen. It's the right town for it. But thank you so much, Doug Harris. This is Valentine's Day. My partner, James Funkman, is playing music so hard the girls in California are slow dancing with the guy <laughs> this time of morning. Oh, really? It's all my pleasure to know you, my Doug. Doug. And your family, man, we're going to stay tuned to you. Pass the word, and let's find a home for third good. <laughs>